you know, the, the biggest red flag I see on someone's CV is when they've got an in progress research project with six, six different important surgeons and nothing actually published. So you've got to take the opportunities, um, even when sometimes they might seem kind of a bit arduous and not necessarily, you know, a, a lot of fun work, but, you know, take them, follow them through that you're going to have to be a little bit willing to do, you know, stuff that you're not being paid for. So if you think you're going to be paid for every second of your time, then you're not going to make it into sort of academia. Then there's still a thought experiment that I love to leave with the people who tell us that we should always be nice and collaborative, which is a junior nurse is standing outside two operating theatres. And uh, with, in one hand, she has an instrument that is works. And in one hand, she has an instrument that's broken. And in one theatre, there's the lovely surgeon who would never yell at anyone and who is lovely always to everyone. And in the other, in the other theatre, there's the surgeon who she knows is going to be mean and yell if she gives the broken instrument. So who is the guy or girl who's going to get the broken instrument? It's going to be the nice surgeon. So there's a balance between being firm and assertive to get what you need for your patient. I think that those sorts of cases change you in a lot of ways. I think the first thing that they change you in is you understand the value of your colleagues, of, of you know, gathering people around you to help manage the case. You know, having someone trusted when you're looking at that scan in the morning and you're so emotionally invested in what's happening to this patient and you're thinking, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. Having someone else to say, no, no, sit on your hands, hold fast. You know, I, I was told very early, um, if the patient has a complication, you see them three times a day um, and you, you sit there with their discomfort and you're encouraging and you're helpful and they mustn't feel abandoned and you, you absolutely, you are there with them on this journey, um, no matter how awful, awful it is. But the main thing I think for an exceptionally enjoyable weekend is not getting a phone call about a patient who's sick or having a complication, letting that background anxiety just, just, just drop down and just not have anything that I'm really worrying about.